The reason we came here is to finally deal with the Cyclones. Yeah, we, we're finally ready to do that now that we have the Hero's Bow. But first, we have to just sail right up to it. As if we don't have a care in the world. Now, you may remember Zethos on... Oh shit, on Windfall Island telling us his brother was causing... Uh, or on Dragon Roost Island telling us his brother was causing all kinds of trouble. And it's good. Neat. That's not what I was trying to do. Come on. Yeah, you barely get any time to do this, by the way. Here goes another one. One more. Oh, I can't believe it. I didn't think it was possible to get a pictograph of him and hit him with three arrows. That's awesome. He's huge. That's a heck of an arm you've got there. That was a weird voice I chose for him. And what an eye! No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the wind waker, ah, the title. Let's see if you can handle this. Down, right, left, down. And we learned a new song, and this is one of the more useful ones. The Ballad of Gales. Wahoo! In the hands of a wind waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call on my cyclone. Well, I guess I'll head home for now. See you on down the road. And he's gone. Just as crazy as his brother. He didn't even say anything about how he was won't turn around to see anymore. Oh well. So by the way, make sure you get that pictograph because otherwise you'll have to rely on Tingle Bottles to ever get uh, a replacement because you can't ever find him again in the game. So it's a miss, uh, lost forever. Okay. So uh, let's give this baby a, a test drive. How about? Neat. Okay, so here are our warp points. We've got um, Mother and Child Isles, which is, that warp point is interesting, but I'll explain why later. Windfall Island, Dragon Roost Island, Tingle Island, ugh, I can't believe there's a warp point there. Uh, Great Fish Isle, Tower of the Gods, Southern Fairy Island, Forest Haven, and Outset Island. So basically all the islands that are important to the story, save for the Forsaken Fortress for understandable reasons. And, uh, Southern Fairy Island, randomly, probably because they just wanted to have one somewhere in the middle down there, but didn't have a good location for it. So yeah, let's uh, warp to Tingle Island, because we do have something to get there. Unfortunately. And here we are, Tingle Island. We'll be doing a lot of that warping. Although, traveling isn't nearly as bad with uh, the King of Red Lions around. Get out of here, guy works. Alright, so the reason we're here is to claim our rewards for these uh, Tingle statues. So, let's go up. We have to talk to Ankle, the pink Tingle brother, to do anything about this. What a climb. Oh, I didn't know a Tingle bottle could be up here. That's kind of neat. You got anything new to say, Tingle? Oh, Mr. Fairy! I've been longing to see you, sir! Where should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Goodbye, Mr. Fairy! Please come visit me here at Tingle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin! Oh, God. Alright, let's talk to Ankle. Thank you for the gift. I know that Tingle statues are quite hard to come by. Who makes them? Is a real question. Um... It is not much, but please, take this. You got a reward for being so skillful at finding Tingle statues. You got 50 rupees per statue. Lucky you. So that's 150 statues. I know what my big brother is like, but please play with him again. Soon. Otherwise he gets out of sorts. He... Oh. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can understand if they were like powering electricity or something. But no. This is for Tingle's own amusement. Alright, let's take a look at these statues. I don't really know which is which, but we got like the dragon tingle statue, the forest tingle statue, and the goddess tingle statue. 
in the uh, original version, if you had the Tingle Tuner active and you attacked these or threw them in the ocean, then he would get pissed and even bomb you. Goodbye. Never to be seen again. Just kidding. It'll be back when we come back later. Alright. Our next item uh, of business is oh, to go over to Mother and Child Owls, but we don't want to actually work there. Uh, I'll explain why when we get there. And here we are at the Mother and Child Isles. The reason we came here is there is one ring of light somewhere in this sector that we couldn't get before because they were one of the uh, Cyclosis Cyclones were too close. It was too close to the uh, Cyclone. Or it was too close to the Ring of Light. So it should be somewhere in this general vicinity, I think. It might be like west of the island. I can't really see because it's bright out right now. I'm tempted to just make it night again. I, oh, there it is, right there. All right, let's uh, see if we can't get this without having a, a whole lot of trouble. Oh, that's kind of close. Is it gonna count? Oh yeah, I'm the master. I think this is the last normal ring of light too. So, yay! That's 145 of them. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, uh, so now that we've done that, let's work to, um, actually we can't work. Let's go to sector D4, the Six Eye Reef, because we have the treasure chart for that island now, so I'll just meet you there to get it. Okay, we're closing in on our destination, uh, the Six Eye Reef, sector D4, and like I said before, we are here to get um, the friggin treasure chart treasure since we have it now and as the treasure chart will show you it's actually inside the reef which is interesting um, and in case you don't remember we got this treasure chart inside the tower of the gods all right should be coming right up on it right around here here we go right here I think yeah there we go it's just a silver rupee though spoiler alert yeah. Okay. So next we're going to go to Sector C6, uh, Shark Island, which is right here. Reason being um, that there's one more sea platform that we haven't conquered yet that we needed arrows to get before. Uh, so let's go do it. I'll meet you there. Okay, I lied a minute ago. The sea platform that we're looking for is actually at the next island that we're going to reason we need to go to Shark Island is to get the treasure chart treasure here. And there it is. Tre treasure chart 16. And just in case you don't remember, we got... Oh, wow. I'm like right on top of it. Uh, we got this one from um, C Platforms number 18. But I don't rightly recall which ones those were. Probably one of the last few islands. Maybe like Sector G7. <laughs> Just a silver rupee, though. But more money for us. That'll help make up the cost of the uh, legendary pictographs. Okay. Now let's go to sector B5, which is the Illet of Steel, where the next C platform is. Or the final one, I should say. You can already see it there on the distance, so I'll just uh, meet you there. Okay. And here we are at the C platform I just mentioned. So, this is the last one, I believe, and it has whiz robes that we need to take down. Just come to a stop here. I said stop, Link. Sploosh. Goodbye, sir. I like how he watches me as I leave. Oh, he's still watching me. That's cool. Alright. Who wants some? Let me get my grappling hook out so I can steal from these jokers. Get out of here. Nope. Oh, wow. I can't believe I actually dodged that. Oh, shit. I ran right into the fire. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that, honestly. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, shit. I didn't realize they were on both sides. And goodbye. One more. See ya. <laughs> that was my wizard death noise. Accurate, right? Right.
All right, before we get carried away, let's see if there's anything worth anything in these pots and barrels. Pots and barrels. Maybe a secret fairy? That would be useful. Uh, I guess not, though. Well, all right. In that case, let's just see what's in the chest. It is a skull necklace. Not that we needed one of those. With that being said, um, how about... We got one more thing that we, or actually, one more thing that we need to do before we tackle the second fortress. Or at least one more thing in this episode. Uh, we're going to head to Outset Island and show our knight's crests to um, Orca. Because remember he said to come back if we ever found ten of those? Well, we got ten now, bitch. Put the crane up, idiot. <laughs> anyway, I'll meet you there. I decided to just warp, but here we are at Outset Island. Luckily, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is if we want to just go see Orca. Because he's always training day or night. Like a bouse. Oh, get out of the way, guys. I don't have time for that shit. Alright, Orca, I got something to show you, bro. I think you're going to like this, Gramps. Let me equip them first so I can show them. Not joy pendants. Oh, you're not interested, huh? Hey, pay attention to these. Oh, why, that is a knight's crest. How many of those do you have? Whew. Then I suppose the time has come for me to speak to you about the crests. Yeah, just make me gather them before you tell me anything about them. The Knight's Crest. It is the symbol of a courageous knight. But not just anyone can gather them. No, it takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. Maybe like the Triforce? Any courageous soul who gathers ten of these crests can learn a powerful new sword technique. Both my brother and I dreamt of learning this technique in our youth. Sturgeon? We worked so hard to collect the crests. But it took many long years and adventures beyond count before we even approached finding ten of them. And we both grew old. It appears you have enough might to learn that technique now. How does that make you feel, dude, now that I have ten? Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. It took me ten years to take what it took you guys, like, forty or fifty. Very good, Link. Heed my words. Orca's last lesson. Hold B to build up power, and then release it. Come at me now. Do it. If this is such a thing to learn, how is he able to... I guess he knows how, but he can't do it himself. Oh, this should be neat. Oh, I bet that hurt. You learn the hurricane spin. Hold B to build up your power, and then release it to perform a whirling attack with your blade. Remember, it consumes magic power. Amazing, Link. You did it. You have mastered the hurricane spin. At last, you have made our long-held dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears. They won't stop. I thought my tears had dried long ago. Wow, this is like a touching moment for him. There is nothing left for me to teach you. I am certain now that you will save your sister, Aril, and bring her home to Outset. I wonder if he says the same thing if you've already... Well, I don't want to spool anything. But I think you'll know where I was going with that statement. You do have a little bit of control over it. Shall we, Link? No. This is all I can do for you, I'm afraid. Of course, I will always be happy to face off against you. Alright, let's try this um, hurricane spin against the choo-choos outside. A little demo, if you will. Because I know there's like a big group of three of them, like right here. Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. Oh, damn it. I just ruined everything. <sighs> Let me try this again. I'm like autistic sometimes. I don't know what like what's wrong with me.
Okay, let's try this again. Build it up. Boom, boom. Boom, kill them all. Damn it, I'm trying to show you guys something. This move is unpredictable though. And there we go. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. He gets like all dizzy and shit afterwards. Kind of funny. Alright, but that's it for the uh, this island tour. Uh, next time we will definitely head to the Forsaken Fortress and take on whatever challenges await us there. Maybe finally save a real? <laughs> nah. Uh, but first, uh, if you liked what you saw, please click the subscribe button and follow me on Twitter at the Scott Spot. It would be mucho apreciado. Let's finish the episode off with a good old round classic of Tingle Bottle Mayhem. Valu Fig Pick. Oh, so you can just use this to get Valu if you want. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. That's stupid. Am I cute? No, that's a little bitch. She's a slut. That's Potoba, by the way. Or maybe Joanna? Just cleaned out every one of these things. Oh, so you just finished your last one, dude. Nice. I, I didn't meet mine, too. I'll like, yeah, that. Thanks, Aaron Star. What about Javi? What is this supposed to be? Oh, it's just Fishman. Thanks. Okay. LOL. I wouldn't have put LOL for that, but uh, it is a funny thing. Triforce. Or should I say Triumph Forks. Wow, Tom is on a roll tonight. What a beautiful place, the Tower of the Gods. Yeah, it is kind of cool, isn't it? Okay, well, uh, like I said, that's it for this episode. Kind of disappointing round of Tingle Bottles. Uh, next time, I'm going to head to the Forsaken Fortress. Face off against Ganon. Let's kick his ass. Next time, Wind Wakers. <laughs>